Hi dear students, welcome back to Wings Lecture. This is Vetri. In this video, I'm going to teach you that how to use math function uh, in scripted programs in Python. Okay, so let's start with simple example, uh, which is going to be uh, area of circle. Okay, so it's a known formula for us to start with it. Now, uh, first I will explain you that uh, without applying max function. Okay, without applying math function. So we know the raw program, right? See. So first I'm going to uh, uh, give an introduction about the program. I'm going to print the program, how, how the program is going to be. So just write area of circle. Actually, these things are not necessary. So just for understanding purpose, I'm keeping it. Okay, now, so we know the formula, right? Uh, area of circle is equal to pi r square. So we need radius, right? Okay, so first get the radius. I'm going to keep that one as r, okay? Or we know the template for uh, getting input from the user. So the format is, you have to use input function as well as you have to define your data type, right? So usually we know that uh, radius and all the trigonometry uh, things are the uh, values are comes under floats, right? Usually it will be in fraction mode. Okay, I'm going to keep my data type as float and then input. Now, so give the meaning, enter the value or else enter the radius okay now go for the formula area is equal to we know the value of pi right 3.14 i already told that i'm going to use the raw method okay without applying any math functions i'm going to give the values directly r square means r star r r multiplication star okay now C. So here I have made the formula now, then I have to print my output, right? I have to display my output. So the area of circle is give, just pass the parameter. Okay, now this uh, code makes sense now. Uh, now go for file, save area i already have this file just replace it go to run f5 now enter the radius 2.5 now uh, area of circle is 19.62 see um, now in this program i didn't used any math function okay so now i'm going to try the same um, program by using mathematical function so for that i already explained in shell mode uh, to use math function you have to import the math function first first import math and then so instead of typing 3.14 you can keep so here i already told that import math as i'm going to keep only m okay so I don't want to type uh, math always. So instead of typing 3.14, I'm going to keep m dot pi pi. And then, so instead of uh, keeping r star r for r square, I'm going to apply power function, which means r comma two. Okay, so now, I have, I have applied uh, two math functions here, right? So let's check uh, how the program is working. Okay, now. So I just made some modification now. Now, yes. 
So enter the same value so we can uh, easily check whether the output is correct or wrong. So it's quite similar, right? See, um, 19.62 here I got 19.63. Uh, it's quite uh, similar, okay? So we got the same output for the same input by applying two different methods one is raw method without having any math function in your program and second one is uh, by applying mathematical function in your program okay so next uh, we can try one more program um, just i'm going to replace the program okay so instead of creating new one uh, let's start uh, let's create one program um like uh, area of square okay we know the value is a square right print area of square now so it's going to be side right side is equal to make the data type as float and then inside to it type input then enter the side value then formula is going to be area is equal to so we know that a square so here a square which is nothing but side square we are going to uh, power the power by 2 okay simple side into side so instead of typing like this we can go for power function okay so for that what you have to do you have to import math function so put math as m m dot p o w power of side comma 2 okay so now it's done now um, now display your output area is equal to just pass the parameter which is area go to file save i'm just i'm just replacing okay so you just try in different sheet now run the program so enter the side value i'm going to keep side value as 2 and area is going to be 4.0 so 2 power 2 yes so 2 power 2 2 into 2 multiplied by 2 is 4 so now I got the output right so let's check with uh, another float variable sorry float value as input now 2.5 yes so this is how we have to handle and we, this is how we have to apply mathematical function in your script program okay that's it if you have any doubts you can comment in comment section thanks for watching keep support bye bye